Hey guys, it's Justine Luzzi here and I'm going to do the romance reading for you guys today. So um, I do this every week now and um, I'm curious to see um, what comes up for this week and I broke it down into three different, uh, actually, well three different connections and then one more spread after that for people that are single and don't have a connection um, because, um, because <laughs> I fall into that category. So um so yeah, so basically guys, if you don't know the types of connections, it's so super helpful to figure them out um, because then you will be able to, uh, you know, it's just, it's easier to understand what is happening um, within the connection, right? Um, and um, understand why it's happening, right? Um, and even though um, I really feel like every relationship we ever have is just a mirror, and basically this mirror is just mirroring back to us what we currently feel or think or, um, you know, our true beliefs, to be completely honest. So um, it's, it's important that we learn the lessons of why we're put together with certain people and why we feel an attraction. Um, so I, I, I love these, you know, I love love and uh, I love genuine, authentic connections, but sometimes it's not always like that, right? Um, okay, so I'm done talking. Um, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and read this, okay, guys? Um, okay, so first things first, we have, um, I'm going to do for if you're in a karmic connection. So basically what's coming up here is, um, and usually um, I'll start from like the beginning of the week, um, how it's going to feel until like the end of the week, um, if, if that makes sense. So basically what's happening here is that you got the you deserve love, you are lovable. So what's happening here is um, that there's this underlying feeling and this tells me so much right off the bat about this karmic connection is that <clears throat> you don't really feel like you deserve love. And what I mean by that is that um, it's really, really hard to... Guys, I thought I loved myself for so many years, but it's such a, it's like an onion. You got to peel the layers, like, you know, and I don't think you ever get to a spot where you, you know, love yourself so much. Like, we, we're humans, right? And we may do something that, um, you know, just just going down to, like, eating bad, you know, ne um, foods that aren't so healthy for our bodies um, could be looked at as something that is not, um in the, in the realm of self-love, right? So it's something that we always constantly have to be aware of and it's something that we always need to work on. So it's so important that we know this, but basically the angels um, and our ancestors, I'm using both the romance deck and the ancestors deck here from Kyle Gray and then um, the former was Dorian Virtue, um, is that you are lovable and um, that's something that is affecting this connection and this is, um, you know, more more times than not, he's, um, um, how do I say this? He is reflecting the same, right? What did I say earlier about, you know, connections is that he's going through the same. So you're with somebody that doesn't love themselves because um they don't love you because you don't I'm sorry that doesn't really love himself and um the same is going on with you internally so if you're sitting here saying Justine I do love myself I would really look at different areas of your life it could be really minor uh but that feels like what's kind of keeping you guys together is that one thing of of uh um this thing of worthiness almost um hopefully that makes sense um okay so the middle card here is, and and it's and by the way, guys, just to <laughs> just to piggyback on this, it feels like it's going to become apparent, or it's already apparent to you. So it almost feels like um, you guys know what I'm talking about um, as the collective consciousness. So, um, but let's see what's going on in the middle of the week. Um, okay, Oracle. So it says, wait for important information. I love when I get this card when it comes to connections because basically it's saying like, um, it's usually like a symbol for like not jumping to conclusions. Um, and basically what's happening here is that it's saying like don't, and here's the other thing too guys, and I think um, uh, we've heard this term before and it's actually not always pertaining to romantic connections, but um, the term romanticize. So when we actually romanticize things, we are um, we are believing something that our mind, like we're believing our thoughts or our feelings about a certain thing. We're not actually seeing things as reality. Now, 
as an intuitive, I really believe our intuition and our feelings can definitely tell us different things at different times. Um, and they can be really helpful and your intuition is never wrong, okay? Um, I truly believe that. But this almost feels like it's more thoughts really projecting a story um, that you want to be true so badly. Um, and it almost kind of feels like it's definitely negative. So things are not so great for the karmic relationship this week. Um, they usually are not. Um, how do I say this? Karmic relationships aren't meant to last. They are fulfilling karmic duties um, from previous life lifetimes. Could be this lifetime. Usually doesn't work super fast like that, but it can. Um, so it, you know, you don't have a lot of great weeks, you know, to be honest, um, you may have great moments, uh, but this week it just kind of feels like, uh, someone is jumping to conclusions and someone is, um, creating stories in their head and kind of romanticizing and romanticizing, I mean, in, in a negative way, meaning that, you know, sometimes we romanticize, um, well, I guess we can say it's both negative, right? So sometimes we romanticize like, oh my God, this is my future husband. Oh my God, this is going to be so great. We're going to build a life together. And that's great planning and all of that good stuff. But sometimes it's, it's usually one-sided. Um, communication is key in relationships, guys. So, um, so yeah, this is about not jumping to conclusions. It seems like somebody's going to be jumping to conclusions around midweek or so, and that's really going to kind of carry out and, and uh, towards the end, um, towards the weekend. Um, but but if you could, knowing this information up front, um, know that uh, the guidance that I'm sharing and I'm sharing from our guides is basically saying like just try not to basically and wait for the information, which I know is super hard. So. Um, okay, and then rounding into the weekend with your karmic connection is let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Um, this is again, guys, sometimes I, I, I refer to cards as inaction and action, um, but this one is definitely more of an inaction, meaning that it's not a doing card, it's a being card. So that means that um, we need to go internally. Um, and see why we want to desperately control situations that we really have no control over. Guys, we don't have as much as control as we think that we do. We do have them over our own emotions, and that's really what this is saying, right? So, so this is more of a being. That's what I actually mean. So it's really important for you to take the time over the weekend to really make sure that you can get your emotions under control because here's the other thing, guys. When we're in a karmic connection, our emotions are crazy skyrocketing. And what I mean by that is that they're up, they're down. It's, a us it's very commonly, usually a push-pull, breaking up, getting back together, breaking up, getting back together kind of thing. Um, that sort of thing you can't really control, um, especially if the other person is doing the breaking up. But this is important that you spend the weekend really trying to get your emotions under control. And that's partly because we don't want to be hurtful and we don't want to be ego-driven and we don't want to be... Here's the other thing, guys. Um, when I talk about these relationships, I don't necessarily mean... Uh, highly abusive. Um relationships that is something for another day and that is a complete topic overall um i'm not giving anybody advice um if they're in an abusive uh physically abusive situation um that is a whole other beast on itself i'm actually talking about push pull being um you know and there can be emotional manipulation i was in a karmic relationship with somebody that was uh, a narcissistic personality disorder um and that was that is abuse right we can't really call it anything else but that was psychological and that was emotional so this also tells me that there might be maybe some mind games going on here um so basically um really taking the time over the weekend to really um, make sure that you can control your emotions, feel your emotions, by the way, too, um, but really help with the reactionary portion of things. What a week for you guys. What a week. Okay. All right. So let's move on to more of a twin flame, which again can be push-pull, but usually tends to be a little bit healthier um, and less toxic than the karmic relationship. So let's see what's going on. Um, okay. Okay. There's a lot of peace right now. Um, so we have broken arrow. So embrace the energy of peace. 
So what's happening here, guys, is that um, it's very peaceful right now. It's pretty pretty obvious, and that's a pretty literal card. So there's not much going on. Um, I just mentioned there might be like a push-pull, but it actually doesn't feel like that right now. It actually feels super calm, super peaceful. Um, I always kind of want to say super enlightened in a weird way. So that actually tells me that things are okay between you and the twin. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that you guys are together um, in union. I'm not getting that specifically, but it just might be a, like a peace offering of some kind has been done. So right now it seems, and again, in the beginning of the week, seems to be peaceful, whether you guys decided to be friends or you know whatnot, but I see no tumultuous situations happening. Um, right now <laughs> right um okay so this is an interesting one that I, I i see come up a lot so we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path it almost kind of feels like um you're not feeling like your twin flame and you are, are exactly um speaking the same soul language and the same um how do i say this same soul language but also the same um how you look at the world, how you view the world, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, so it's almost like you guys aren't on the same page at all. Again, does that mean that there's conflict? It doesn't feel conflicting. I mean, it feels conflicting, but it doesn't feel tumultuous. It doesn't feel rough. It doesn't feel any of those things. So basically what's happening here is that that, that might be why you guys um, are just not, uh, and I want to say jiving, but again, you guys could be in separation and knowing that your spiritual beliefs and, and religious factors are playing a part in why you're not together. It just feels like you guys are just not on the same page when it comes to spirituality and what your soul needs and your soul language and what you need out of a relationship. And that's really the main culprit. That is coming around in the middle of the week, for, um, whether you um, realize it or not. But if you do, um, like I said, for some reason in the middle of the week, um, that will be coming up and making it more apparent. Okay. This one is, uh, is, is, um, so this is a animal guardian. So trust your instincts. So this one is saying, um, it really is starting to feel like you guys are not in union, but it doesn't feel terrible. Like it really just does not feel terrible. Like this one is saying animal guardian, trust your instincts. Now, I've haven't I've had a few false twin flames, so I actually don't know exactly what the connection um, is like um, from a personal experience. But basically, what's happening here is that um, how do I say this? The universe, our guides, are pretty much saying like trust your instincts and trust your intuition. So if you're really missing the person, because I have felt like it feels like you're, you know, it, it feels like you're they're they're missing. Like you need to have them in your life. Like that could also be a trauma bond. Okay, <laughs> I know that very well. Um, but basically, it's about trusting your instincts. You don't want to go running back when you know all of these things don't align. Um, it almost feels like it's becoming more of a practical thing for you, um, where you practically you, you you know things on a practical level. Um, you don't align in a lot of different things when it comes to spirituality and things like that. So it makes a lot of sense of why you guys are not together right now. There has to be some healing and there has to be some work done on both ends. Um, the timing is not now. Um, and that's really kind of what they're saying. Like, I don't know if you'll be tempted over the weekend or, um, tempted to say something over the weekend or something like that. But towards the end of the week, really remember that, um, you might again be tempted or be contacted by that person, but you know, in your heart of heart, it's just not going to work at least right now. Okay. Oh, I almost flipped over the second one. I was rushing into it. So um, this is a soulmate relationship, guys, which are usually the best kind. Um, okay, so getting to know each other. As you reveal your animal selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, so I see a lot of intimacy happening right now with twin, uh, I'm sorry, with soulmates, okay? So we're opening up. We're becoming more vulnerable. Um, this almost feels like a new connection. This year really does feel like a lot of soulmates are coming together. So if you've been single for a long time, I know the cards don't say that. I didn't get to the single portion of things, but I really intuitively feel that. 
uh, and energetically feel that. Um, but it seems like really good right now. It's like the honeymoon stage, everything is good. Um, and if it's not a connection that you've just made, it almost feels new in some type of way. So I don't like new energy. So basically it's saying like, I don't know if like, um, you know, you've been neglecting the relationship and now you guys are, um, really working on it and things like that um so but i see it being really good and you're getting the more you get to know each other the more deeper um you feel connected to this person so that's awesome okay <laughs> okay so exchange energy to create abundance okay trader i love this card i especially love it when it comes up in a romance reading and basically what's happening here is that um there's guidance around exchanging I almost want to say skills, but I kind of don't want to. So it just feels, again, it feels really good. The soulmate relationship this week feels really good. So possibly um, I would look out for this week is um, ways in which, um, like, for example, I never like to use the word lacking because I just, it's not a, I just don't, I just don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like it. Everything is in abundance, right? But um, in, in this, as I'm trying to explain this, I think I'll have to use it. So basically what's happening here is that I feel as if um, there is a way that if someone is lacking, I'll just use it, um, lacking in something in particular and the other person um, has that strength. Like it's almost like um, these feel, this first of all, this these connect these soulmate connections that were recently made feel really genuine. They feel really good. Um, second off is like, um, it's almost saying like what you're lacking in and the other person is doing well in. Um, trade trade energy exchange energy help each other out where one lacks and one is in an abundance whether that is having to do with money issues okay so this actually makes a lot of sense as the order right because we are saying you guys are deepening your bond already you already trust this you're starting to trust this person more um you already feel you know connected you're starting to connect them connect with them more so that's really going to help um facilitate facilitate this energy exchange here um where again like i said if it's an example i can give is possibly about money if someone just lost their job and you need to help them out um it's safe to help them out um and they might repay you um by uh cooking and cleaning or um and again these are not actual gender roles i'm just thinking of how to you know have a household together but again I don't feel like you guys are under one roof um necessarily but that's just I'm thinking of a traditional relationship right um so yeah it just feels like where one is lacking and the other one is in abundance exchange that energy take care of each other basically make sure that when one is down and the other is up we get to a more happy medium so but again I see it um I see it really good this week so I'm excited to see what this last one is Okay, so calling in your soulmate. So this is interesting. So it says your prayers, affirmations, visualiz visualizations help bring you together. So it just feels like this upcoming weekend, you're going to have this really great energy of, oh my God, this person is definitely my soulmate. Again, this week feels like a week of connecting with each other, helping each other. This is what relationships are all about. Um, the communication is great. Everything is pretty great this week. And basically, this is confirmation that this is definitely a soulmate relationship. This is a good one. Um, and definitely um, working within each other, uh, working with each other, communicating, um, high emotional intelligence, right? Self-awareness, consciousness, all of that stuff is here. It's here, it's here, it's here, and it's working um, in your favor. So that's really awesome. All right, single, single, single people. Here we go. Okay. We have true love. What's coming up? So guys, I feel you. I feel you on the longing for a partnership like the one I just described, okay? we There's a lot of people out there that are single that really, really want that soulmate relationship. And it's actually people that are really single. What I mean by really single is that you you guys have done the work. You've done the work, the healing work from maybe a past karmic relationship, um, just separating from your twin, um, just being in a relationship that doesn't work. And it just feels like you're ready. You're ready for something real. Like how long do, I, do you have to wait? I feel a little impatience coming on. But really what's happening here is that um, things will come in due time. There's a reason why they haven't showed up quite yet. 
Guys, we also have multiple soulmates. I forgot to mention that, but there's a reason why they haven't shown up quite yet. So be patient, continue to do the work, and more of that lack energy, just knowing that your soulmates are out there waiting for you to meet them at the exact intended time that you're, you're intended to um, will happen for sure. Okay, I got this one in a reading this week. Um, okay, shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. So basically what's happening here is, um, and I don't even want to say distraction because I feel like distraction is not very good, but it's almost like put all of your energy into your gifts and things that make you happy. This is super cliche, but it's true. Guys, cliches are a cliche for a reason. And basically what's happening here is that um, in order to change your energy and to change how you show up, um, you need to be doing something passionate um, or, or close to what you're passionate about every single day and show up in that energy. That is going to do a better job of attracting a soulmate because like attracts like. Um, and also you want to attract on a higher vibration, not on a wound. Um, you know, or a feeling of, of a lack of something. So yeah, abundance my, mindset is great, but also moving into and doing something every day that you're passionate about. Okay. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So I'm seeing this weekend um, being, uh, this upcoming weekend um, being a time where you definitely spend a lot of time alone. Um, only because you feel like there is some healing that still needs to be done. So I definitely recommend checking out possibly like an energy healing of some kind that could really help you. But there may be um, something that comes up during the week that you're like, I'm not really healed from this. This is something that I need to work on. Um, I see you doing that for the weekend, even if that includes journaling, um, uh, meditating, um, crystal healing, Reiki, yoga, anything along those lines is is um, going to be super beneficial to you because it's almost like uh, you had a perspective shift during the week and now it's time to kind of figure out how to heal that, the new thing that you see, um, the new block that you see basically, right? Um, but yeah, so just keep that positive attitude though. They're coming. Soulmates are definitely, definitely coming for you guys. Just continue to do the work, okay, and keep positive about it. Okay, awesome. I think that's it. I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this romance reading and um, I will post it uh, today and uh, on the 19th and that's for this week. Um, and um, I will see you guys next week. And again, if this resonates with you, please put a comment. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, bye.